Morning Blues, we've woken up to the news that Raheem Sterling has turned down £100,000 a week to stay at Liverpool. What does this mean for City? Well, we'll look into that in a minute. We've also been linked again, 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 again with Kevin De Bruyne from Wolfsburg, ex-Chelsea player. He's absolutely torn it apart in the Bundesliga this year. He would be an amazing sign and he can replace Milner quite easily. He's really flexible, he can play in a number of different positions. He'd be a really, really, really good signing. Back on to Sterling, he's turned down 100 grand a week saying, oh, I'm not a money grabbing 20 year old. Well, that's fair enough, but what does that mean for City? We've been linked with him countless times now over the last year. For us, I don't think it means anything. If anything, it's putting us in a better position now. Liverpool have really messed up. They've been underpaying him now for a while. 35 grand for a player of his quality. I know he's only 20, but there's players there getting nearly 150 grand a week. They've offered him 100 grand. They're panicking, thinking the likes of City, maybe Chelsea, Barcelona, Real Madrid even might come in for him. So we should really be swooping for him. He ticks all the boxes. We're looking for young players. We're looking for English players. He's, he's ticked both those boxes already. The problem is he's going to cost us an absolute fortune. I mean, that's not a problem for me or you, but it might might not help us with the FFP malarkey that's going on. But leave a comment below. Do we want to sign De Bruyne? Who's he going to replace? And do we want Raheem Sterling at City? Let us know and get involved. Hi, this is Sean Good of Feed the Good. Subscribe to Blue Moon Rising TV now.